Good day, my fellow hackers. Today, we're going to be using Cheat Engine on Risk the Global Domination. Let's begin. So, now that we are in the game, go to your settings. Now, gameplay. Now, there's this full screen. Make it windowed and decrease the resolution to, let's say, at which you're comfortable with. This will be good enough for me. So, I'm gonna go to a battle against an AI to demonstrate. Of course, this works on online games too with other players ranked and stuff. Otherwise, I would have been showing you this. So let's begin. Let me skip all the AIs. And now it's my turn. So let's turn on the cheat engine. There we have it. Now choose the risk. Find the loan button. And now we can start. So I'm gonna first of all demonstrate the old one. The values, we can see the values. So the old one is if you go here. And of course, this will work, but this will be suspicious. Let's say you go on into a multiplayer game, and of course, if there is no fog of war, this will be instantly, you'll be kicked out. So this is the old way, of course. You, will, you would be choosing this number. You'll be searching for this number. Let's say now we have three. Let's search for three. There's a bunch of threes. Let's change it to, let's say, four. Now let's search for a 4. Okay. Oopsie poopsie. Let's search again. 3. Oh no, it's 2, not 3. Okay, let's search for 2. Okay, we're almost. Now it's 4. We can of course search 4, but you can already see the 4. And there we have it. This is it. Now, of course, you weren't they able to this is the old way if i let's say select you and i'm gonna go into the game no this yes. and if i switch this you can see that one switches up there too so in all days you would just of course you couldn't type let's say five and then say of course let me choose one let's say you type five you type well you added five did I add it five? Let's see. Okay, there's three. I add one, but I type as if I add five. It decreases, I think. I forgot the number. Anyways, you see that it doesn't add five. So uh, in all days, what we used to do is, uh, yes, I'm gonna add one, but in actuality, you didn't type, let's say, nine in the thousand, but um, you type, minus a thousand of course this is the stupid long number this is not what you type but believe me it is the, it breaks even here you press ok there it added and it added there and added here this is very effective but it's so effective that you will it's very obvious so you'll just get banned instantly if you're spotted with this of course it works and it is yes it is this powerful you can add it even more let's see till a thousand yes it works it's perfect let's see I add two more or three more it decreases yes this is the old way now let me real quickly add the rest of it next phase of course if I attack it works perfect Because it is possible in game to get this kind of a number. So, yes, it is very, very, very possible. But this is the old way, for which is very obvious. Let me skip the eyes again. Now, let me show you my way. I'm going to show you how to break it and it'll be secret. So, 
do this. Uh, okay, first of all, scan four. Scan the four. We need as many scans as we can. We're gonna scan four. We're gonna drop one. No scan the three. Let me scan again. Let me okay. Let me scan again. Let's drop one more. And there we have it. The two that we need. Of course, I can just type it. And if you read the code, it's the same. So there we have it. Don't change it because it'll break. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the difficult. I'm gonna right click and find whoever writes to this address. Yes, I allow it. Now, I'm gonna find whoever changes this number. Let me go in. Let me let me see if it hasn't changed. Nope. Let me add one. Let me see. There, that's the changing factor. This is what changes this value automatically. So I'm gonna go show this assembler a bunch of things. Press tools. Go to the bottom. Press tool. Go to the bottom. Auto assemble or control A. Now at the top template AOB injection or shift control A. Okay, okay. There we have it. Now change uh, past the blue, red. Where's the code? The code where it's written. The code from the start. This first line of code. Change it to N O P. The nope or not operational. It stands for not operational. Now click file assigned to current cheat table. It has appeared right over here. So you can now close all of these tabs. Leave just cheat engine, and there we have it. Now we have one so whatever i press it will automatically add one this is how risk works so now i'm gonna lock the script is written as i said i changed it to now not operational i now i activate the script and now i can add seemingly infinitely of course if this works Perfectly. Now, just remember one thing. Uh, this code changes so that you will never lose the, the warriors from this number. It doesn't mean you can't add them. You add them, but it never subtracts from this. And it never adds to this. Of course, I can't go to the next phase because uh, I haven't disclosed all the units, but I cannot if I deactivate it. There. I'm not gonna attack. Just gonna skip all the turns. Skip the AI. Of course, if I keep it activated as I roll into my turn. Let me skip this. What the heck? Oh. Uh, yes. This seems to be affecting AI and perhaps other players. Because it seems that AI is building quite an army. So I'm gonna turn off. Yes, okay. AI became quite a powerful foe. So I'm gonna activate it now. It seems that this goes for everyone. And now if I use it, I'll use four. I can I can use four more. And I can use four more. And I can use four more. You can see how this is broken. And of course it breaks, it seems, AI, and perhaps it'll break other players. So you can just do this for your friends, but if you keep it activated as your turn, it, as it is not your turn, some other players may perhaps notice a break in the game and may report someone cheating. So just saying, careful in that region. So yeah. This works. This is the new one. Of course, this will be downloadable. Download the. You can download this. And thanks for watching.